the world famous urban light display just outside the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. I guess when you think of street lights, they are kind of artistic monuments, each in their own right. At least they used to be. Now they're pretty plain and bland and functional. But it does kind of remind me of maybe going through a Greek or Roman temple. So here we are, this week's adventure. Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Let's check it out. Now, in a lot of ways, I don't get art. And I think that's pretty true here as well. Because here's a giant boulder, a real boulder, taken from, looks like a piece of granite, somewhere in the local mountains. And it's balanced over this ravine, <laughs> this viaduct here. And this is one of the biggest art displays here at the museum. And uh, I don't get it. Do you get it? Are we supposed to get it? It's pretty cool, it's fun to walk under, but I suppose what's it trying to represent? How precarious artists, our position is as human beings? How just the slightest move could bring us to wreck and ruin? How little it takes to lift us up? A little encouragement can go a long way. I don't know, I'm trying to think artistically and I'm probably failing miserably. And just in case you thought, you know, you didn't know where you were, lots of vagrants just outside the walls, in tents all along the streets. Let's go for a little walk down in the uh, aqueduct here, <laughs> whatever it's called. One thing this reminds me of a little bit is the Vietnam Wall in Washington, D.C. That's because I always thought it was a wall, and it is, but as you get further along the wall, it gets bigger and bigger, signifying our, you know, our continued involvement in Vietnam. And eventually you reach the peak of the wall and it starts to get shorter and shorter signifying you know our that we need to heal and move on from such a tragic event in our history but here's the bottom of this uh of this art display and by the way you don't need museum entrance tickets to come in it's open to the public um the gates are open from the sidewalk. You can just walk right in and see this if this is something you want to see in LA. Now let's actually go inside the museum. Lots of construction down here next to the uh, Los Angeles County Museum of Art. But right next to it, 
is the La Brea Tar Pits. So if you're already down here, you can always do that. You can do the LA County Museum of Art. And across the street in that direction is the Peterson Auto Museum, which has all kinds of incredible cars, including those from a lot of your favorite movies and films and TV shows. And just over there behind those trees is the union I hope to one day join, SAG-AFTRA, as you might remember from episode 20 of the podcast. But for now, let's go inside and check out some more modern art. One aspect of art I am a fan of is the uh, minimal minimalist design of some of the outside areas, such as this escalator and this roof. It's definitely industrial minimalism, I guess. I do not know my art or architecture, so those of you that are artists, I'm sorry. I'm probably butchering all this. It's the Hollywood sign way out there in the distance. Hollywood Hills, where all your favorite celebrities live, or at least a good part of them. And here we are, third floor. I will admit this one's pretty cool. It's almost like a painting, but it comes out at you from a figment of your imagination to real life. I think that's kind of unique. And look at that, it looks like a trolley. Or what once was a trolley. This collection has a lot of post-World War I grotesque and horror imagery <laughs> and what war can do to people. This one's called The Stabbed Man. This one's called House Destroyed by Aerial Bombs. I suppose there was a few photos of the horrors of war starting in World War I. But it was certainly important to to display. The Industrial Farmers, this one's called. It was important to display the horrors of war. And I think uh, the images of this one are pretty obvious. This one's called Blood is the Best Sauce. This one's trying to say, I guess, is fairly obvious. Here's a few collections from Picasso.
several more from the famous artist Picasso. This one's kind of neat. The ship. Very industrial. Even the people are robots. This is going to fall under another one of those. I don't get it. <laughs> However, I love the minimalism. called the red plank. What do you think the red plank's gonna be? It's a red plank. This one's called The Road to the Studio. See, it starts out in the countryside. And we work our way into the city. Okay, if you thought the red plank was cool, if I got one for you, check out White 4. There it is. This one's called the Jewel. Those of you who own a junkyard may be able to piece something together. And sell it. Now I do like this kind of art that's interactive. You can see a window. It's 
which reminds me of the haunted mazes they had at not scary farm I guess we're supposed to be in some kind of old Midwest service station If they were going for the creepy vibe, they met it. There's a fireplace in the back seat and a doll trying to drive. We survived. We made it. Between heaven and hell. A lot of mental patients do art therapy. Kind of makes me wonder where this art is from. This section of the museum is called Scandinavian Design and the United States. This is pretty cool. Maybe a summer project for your kid's uh, bedroom. What a cool bunk bed. Here is Keen Jorgensen's rifle. 1892, King of Norway. Reminds me of the uh, Walt Disney Concert Hall. It's kind of sculpted, kind of like this, except in brush aluminum.
This is absolutely incredible. This is the kind of art I can absolutely get around. This is called Metropolis 2. Kind of symbolizes uh, symbolizes our life in LA, huh? Little rush hour traffic.
All right, folks, thanks for joining me on this uh, adventure to LA County Museum of Art. We'll see you on the next one.